Hello everyone, this is G. Welcome to Mario Learning for English Tapping again. I'm very happy to see many people successfully install the application of Mario Tapping with the previous video. If you wish to see the, you can check on the video in the link on description below. But I got some question how to use the application today i made this video to answer the question and give some useful tip about the application so please uh, check on the application first when you start up the application you may see the minimize screen like this so it's not fit to your main screen click the cursor into the application here and then press the key R enter you can see the application is fit to the screen but if you wish to minimize your screen back you can press the R plus enter key again okay this is the minimize screen you can see and one more thing when you click the cursor into the application you cannot move the cursor to the main screen so you can resolve this case by press the R plus escape key so you can see you can move the cursor to the main screen here and then I now I move back to the application screen so you can see here it's the application screen here and one more thing if you wish to quit or close the application just click on the control plus F9 key but I will provide this tip at the end of the video so for the second thing I will introduce for the useful tip on the application so I will uh, maximize the screen by press the uh, R plus int key to enable the music and sound you just click on the file here and then click on the music so while you're typing you, you can hear the music in the background and one more thing for the sound the sound now I I click on the blink eyes so we do not hear the sound so if you wish to hear the sound go to file again and click on sound you see? this is the sound but uh, in my video presentation here I would uh, disable the sound to uh, optimize the sound quality of my record now look at the keyboard the keyboard here we classify the keyboard into five sections but we can see only four four rows of keyboard here but it doesn't mean only four sections it five sections so first sec first one is the home row the home row is the d4 row where you place your finger on the first time okay you can see this is the home row and then this is the bottom row and this this is the third row or the or we can call it like the top row and this is the number row so where is the other one which called symbol row symbol row is here is with the number row the symbol row will be available when you press the shift key on the number row so we will speak from number to the symbol row and this is very important to remember and one more thing the way you need to taping the each alphabet correctly you need to place and use your finger correctly based on the following color on your finger like this example like the fingerprints here you place it with so fingerprint will be responsible for the F and G for all the red key of the alphabet here should be responsible for for the fingerprint here to be the same here you each finger will be responsible for each color of the alphabet on the keyboard here mostly it's very easy for your uh, thumb is only responsible for the space bar now look at other thing lesson so in the lesson here it is the same way as I taught before 
we can see home row, top row, bottom row, number row, symbol row. So they are classified into five rows in typing on the keyboard. So here is this is the practice. So I will uh, provide some details on the demo now we can see the home row only means you need we only tap the home row only even we try in the each lesson from number one to number four we practice only home row but we can see different layout different uh, typing style in each lesson so you can use the home row and then if you choose the top row mean that you combine between home row and top rows so in each lesson will contain two rows it is the home row and top row in every lesson and now i can show you in a demo choose a demo and now i choose the lessons like uh, home row only and then i go to the uh, lesson two you can see this is only uh, home row only no top row or bottom row so now i escape the key and back to the other thing with the now I plus the top rows and then go back to the lesson two again so you can see uh some alphabets of the t o and e like that you can see e e is the top row you can see here yes presentation will give you some tips and clear understanding about the application and as i talked uh, previously to minimize the screen you can press the r enter and then if you wish to close or quit the application you just click the ctrl plus f9 